Well, hello, North Park. My name is Trish Hack. I'm the pastor of Care Ministry at North Park, and I'm joined in this Zoom call uh, by Leanne. And uh, we're trying something new today, uh, as as a lot of new things have had to happen over these past number of months. Um, but we're going to try and do um, an interview over Zoom. And the reason for it is uh, Leanne is one of our divorce care leaders here at North Park. And uh, we're wanting to just give you a chance to hear a bit about um, what happens in the care ministry. So, uh, Leanne, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me, Trish. Okay, I'm going to jump right in. We've got just a couple of of questions to lead the way. Uh, So, Leanne, as you know, our care groups at North Park are always led by those who have been through it themselves and really understand Uh, what it's like to go through a separation and divorce. Um, And so not only do you help to lead our divorce care group, you've also been through it yourself. So um, I was hoping that that you might be able to tell us a bit about the divorce care program, um, what your experience has been like and how it's impacted you personally. Sure. So uh, over a few years ago now, I just found myself um, in a season of life I never thought I'd find myself in. My life was completely obliterated beyond recognition. And I knew that I would definitely need um, some support and some help to to get me through um, what I was experiencing. Mm -hmm. And I had heard about divorce care at church. And um, I thought that I would, uh, I thought that I would sign up and and check it out. And what I liked uh, most about it was is the fact that it's a very structured program. So of course, there's time to come together and to get to know one each other, one another, and support each other and express how we're doing and how we're feeling. Um, but the the program is run such that there's weekly videos to watch and uh, a book to follow along with and to fill out and to learn from. And um, the program is really based on professionals in the area of counseling and marriage breakdown and, and pastors and and great people and, and also other people's personal experiences. So, so the program is really well run, really structured. And um, I found that it was a it was a time weekly where I was able to look forward to as much as I didn't want to be there. It was an opportunity to uh, have something where I knew that on a Thursday night, I would have a place to go where people would understand what I was going through. You know, they, even though everyone's part situation is so uniquely different, um, just a lot of the issues that you experience in a marriage breakdown, such as rejection, shame, fear, loneliness, you know, faith, faith questions, regardless of what uh, level of faith you are in your own personal, um, in your own life. It's just like, God, where are you in this difficult time? Are you with me? And this program reminds us that he certainly is with us and that um, we can work through this together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Well, and and I know, Leanne, that you um, have been through the program yourself and and kind of experienced, you know, healing that comes as as you go through. Um, You were pretty quick to to be willing to uh, step into a facilitator role uh, when we asked. Um, So I know that it's it's a program that you you believe in, uh, and you've seen uh, you've seen the benefits you know firsthand, and as you brought others through it. Um, so appreciate having you on the team. Thank you, thank you. I'm still on my own personal journey, but um, you know, there's every day is a, a new opportunity to grow and to heal, and and a lot of there's a lot of reminders that help me. Um, in my situation that I, I look back and I reflect on and it's things that I learned from or heard in, in the program that, that do help me continually on a regular basis. Mm, yeah. Now, as, as you know, um, when COVID-19 hit, we had to move our care groups online and that was a pretty um, significant change, obviously, because we've always run these groups in person. Um, so, so I wonder, you know, there might be some people out there um, 
that, that a program like this could be helpful to them in, in what they're going through, but, but maybe feeling a bit unsure about um, that online format. So I wonder if you have a little bit of feedback for us about uh, how that has been working, um, you know, what that experience has been like to move the group online. Sure. Uh, well, I am a people person, so I, especially with sensitive topics like this, um, I would much prefer to be able to meet in person, like after you get over that kind of awkwardness of walking into a room and meeting people for the first time. But there was something really valuable about coming together in person and, you know, just having that opportunity to have a coffee break with, with people that you were sharing such uh, yeah vulnerable feelings with and have a, a break and a snack with which was always the highlight of the the night um, but uh, I, I also experienced the in-between time where we we had to just all of a sudden stop meeting and you know I know for for myself and others you know this program was a lifeline for sure and um, looking forward to that that one particular time where we could get together and meet as a group um, was taken away. It, I was I was really sad to see that opportunity lost. So when we could meet on Zoom and continue on, um, you know, it wasn't the same. But everyone's experiencing this right now, this new normal. So it it was still a great opportunity to watch the videos. Um, everybody has opportunity to share and um, and feel safe doing that. So uh, and. And it, it was very convenient. I know a lot of people actually did um, did appreciate being able to to meet on the online platform. So so definitely a, a positive experience during the pandemic to be able to to meet online still. Yeah, definitely. Well, and I know it, it certainly felt like a big experiment when we first tried it. We kind of said we don't know if this is going to work, but want to try. And and it was really uh, encouraging to see the way that 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 online still um, provide that opportunity and still feel connected and still, um, you know, offer that, that learning and that growth. So uh, we've been really grateful to, to be able to run the program, uh, you know, continue to offer this program through, through the pandemic. Um, Leanne, I, I don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, I know you're a, a busy mom and, and lots on the go, but um, I do have one last question for you. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking about the fact that there may be some people watching who are going through a, a season uh, of separation and divorce or marriage breakdown. Um, and so with, with them in mind, do you have a few words of encouragement to share? Just a couple of things that you would like them to know. Sure, I do have uh, definitely have some things to share and none of it's anything that I uh, created or coined the terms for but um, uh, in one thing that stands out to me from the program was uh, when someone said that um, this is just a snapshot of your life in a moving in a moving picture. So this is temporary the situation that you're in. So if you were to sit at my table, if we were friends and we were having a coffee and I would just tell you that you know, I know what it's like and that this is a temporary situation. And although that, uh, although it might feel like this is the end of so many things for you and it is, it is a change, but it's not necessarily the end because um, the death of what, what if the death of what we thought should be is actually the birth of something new. And, you know, God is in, the business of taking um, broken things and terrible situations and turning them around and turning your life around. And, you know, in Psalm 34, 18, he, the Lord says that, um, that he is close to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. So you may be feeling like totally crushed, like I was totally devastated, just beyond, just in disbelief. Um, but this program helps you to know that you're not alone, that you will be okay, and that God has never forgotten you, that he is the God of the valley and the mountaintop. And, you know, you might not always be able to see the other side at the moment, um, the other side of things, but there is another side. And um, another quote here that I'll, I'll leave you with, there is healing on the other side of hurt, strength on the other side of our weakness, and joy on the other side of our sorrow. 
so this program helped me to see the other side and and the people that were facilitating it um, uh, encouraged me in my in my healing emotional healing journey and um, I'm very grateful for it so I hope that if you are looking for a place uh, to come to to help you through this season of life um, please join us mm. Yeah, thank you, Leanne. And that's, that's maybe a great segue just to, um, just to tell you that if, if this kind of touches on uh, the, the season that you're in, if you're dealing with a separation or a divorce, or um, if there's someone that you know that, that maybe you, know, you think could benefit from this program, uh, our, our next uh, session of divorce care is starting up soon. So, um, so we'll be getting uh, back to it on Thursday, September 24th at 7 p.m. Uh, online. Um, the program is, is always open. And so, uh, you know, even if you've missed that start date and you want to hop in, you know, a few weeks in, it's always open. We want to make sure that that support is available. Um, and to, to, to connect in with us, all you have to do is register uh, online at northpark.ca slash register and kind of click on Fanshawe site and you'll find um, you'll find the info there for divorce care and you can register. So, um also, you know, if there's questions that you have, I would love to hear from you. You can email care at northpark.ca and I'd be happy to, um, to answer any questions and see if we can uh, ease that anxiety. Leanne, you know that, um, you know, the, the program isn't necessarily hard, uh, but, you know, walking through the door uh, is sometimes the hardest part is just getting started. And, and I know that in this season we're in that it's not walking through the door but it's you know clicking on the link and and uh joining the meeting um but we hope that you will uh, consider that and we uh, we know that that the season ahead for you despite the hard things you might be going through can can certainly be a season of encouragement and hope and healing and so that's our that's our prayer for you if that's the um season that you find yourself in so, uh, Leanne, I just want to say thank you again so much for, um, for sharing, for, for being willing to do this and, um, you know, giving that firsthand uh, experience. It really um, means a lot and it's really inspiring to hear just how God has, has brought you through um, the season that you found yourself in and is continuing to, to move you forward in your life. Thank you, Trish. And thanks everybody for watching.